At this station, you're going to be doing cup stacking programming. You're going to need two parties. One person is going to be the robot, and at first they step away while the second person, the programmer, writes the code. And then, after the code is written, the robot comes back and tries to follow the code to see if you get the same pattern. So, the robot steps away and the programmer takes one of these pattern cards. We're going to use this top one that has two cups and one cup on top of it as our starting point. You're going to need the stack of red cups. You've got to figure out how many you need. We need three and you'll need a piece of paper to write your program and then these are the symbols you're going to get to write this program. There's an up arrow, a down arrow, um, we'll just need right arrows, the last symbol you'll use is the semicircle, and that is for when you need to flip the cup over on top of a stack like this, and then set it down. For our purpose on this pattern, we don't need to use that one. So for this exercise, we're going to need to lift a cup up off the stack and put one down right next to it. So I pick one cup up. And so while I'm doing that, every step I'm going to write down, I make an up arrow, and then every right arrow is just a half a cup width. So I'm going to need one, two arrows, and I'm going to write those down now, and a down arrow to put the cup down. So the next cup I'm going to lift up, so I take an up arrow, and then I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, so I'm making four right arrows, and then I'm going to do a down arrow. So you'll notice the next time I'm going to do an up arrow. Now I want it to land in between these two cups. So since every move is just a half a cup length, I need one, two, three. Three right arrows and then a down arrow that says I'm going to set the cup down. So there is my program. At this point I would stack the cups back up like this and I would call the robot over and have them do your program and see if they come up with the same pattern that you started with. As a programmer, it's really hard, but while the robot is going through your program and stacking the cups, don't say anything or gesture, just let them complete the steps. If it's different than the pattern that you started with, you'll need to do some debugging. You can look at your steps and figure out what might have gone wrong. Add the steps and then have the robot try it again. That's what programmers do when they're writing code. Some patterns are going to be a lot trickier than others. Some start with a few cups. Some get a little crazy. Start with a simpler pattern and then try more complex ones. Good luck!